The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. When eternal life begins, and this is the record that God has given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. Jesus declared, I am the resurrection and the life. In Christ's life, original, and borrowed, and derived. He that hath the Son hath life. The divinity of Christ is the believer's assurance of eternal life. He that believeth in me, said Jesus, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. John chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. To the believer, death is but a small matter. Christ speaks of it as if it were of little moment. If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death, he shall never taste of death. John chapter 8, verse 51 and 52. To the Christian, death is but a sleep, a moment of silence and darkness. The life is hid with Christ in God, and when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Colossians chapter 3, verse 4. He who himself was soon to die upon the cross stood, a conqueror of the grave, and asserted his right and power to give eternal life. I will raise him up at the last day. John chapter 6, verse 40. Christ became one flesh with us, in order that we might become one spirit with him. It is by virtue of this union that we are to come forth from the grave, not merely as a manifestation of the power of Christ, but because, through faith, his life has become ours. Those who see Christ in his true character and receive him into the heart have everlasting life. It is through the Spirit that Christ dwells in us, and the Spirit of God received into the heart by faith is the beginning of the life eternal. Jesus is crying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. John chapter 7 verse 37, Revelation chapter 22 verse 17, John chapter 4 verse 14.